Welcome to the Account Solutions. This channel is dedicated to bring you solutions to your everyday tasks in areas of bookkeeping, business administration, accounting and taxation. If you like what you're doing here, kindly click on the subscription button and support us. Enjoy the rest of this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the finished product bookkeeping Excel template for bakeries. This template will enable you to track a number of items in your bakery, quantity of goods produced, quantity of goods produced and packaged, quantity of goods produced, packaged and sold, quantity of goods sold to other branches or sent to other branches, received from other branches, the ones that got bad or missing, and the ones that were unctioned. So I'll just take you through um, the step-by-step -step on how to use this template. First of all, I'd like to show you the structure of this um, template model. Now, you may have a business model for your bakery already, but um, this template was designed with this simple model. The ideology behind the template is that goods are produced from raw materials. So, the template does not capture the raw materials produced, but starts from the finished product. So, once the product is finished, we start from the point of products are produced. When they are produced, they are sent to packaging. Packaging receives this uh, number, of, let's say, loaves of bread from production into packaging. They package, you know, put the label, everything, prepare the, the bread for sale, and they move to the sales department. Now, the sales can either make the sales or auction the sales or record missing or damaged um, goods also package the also send the package product to other branches if a branch is um, has shortage of items and that that are high demand they can request from other branch where the bakery has more than one branches or one, more than one locations or where they have a location that is just um a sales location but it's not a production unit then a production unit can send to the sales location also so this template enables you to track this process from the point where you are finished producing to the point where they are sold and are recorded, recorded. Now, when you, um, for each of this process, there are documents and document numbers that you should take note of. As a data entry staff or as an accountant or clerk or salesperson who is using these templates to record. Now, when production units are done with production, they will raise a control document, which could be that be a logbook or a control book or a production register, whatever you call it in your bakery, that um, document we have serial numbers. So you, at the point of transferring that that um, batch of production, it could be batch numbers, it could be uh, batch log, it could be shift log or shift number. At the point of doing that transfer, you are moving from you are moving finished product from production unit to packaging unit. You should post them with the numbers on that particular document the factory supervisor who should have raised a document or a register or a ticket or a docket after production detailing total number of products were produced and their quantity probably the bags that were used bags of flour that were used to make that production in that logbook or control book that will not be used to enter as a ref for the production um, um bookkeeping once you have done that you have moved it to packaging packaging receives them and begins to package the items for delivery now the ones they are able to package that day they will move to sales the ones that are not able to package will remain with them now when sales receive sales should only post the ones that are packaged that means for every batch that are packaged and sent to sales there should be a docket or a receipt or a control document or something that will detail non the product they are packaged and the quantity they are packaged and sent to sales. So sales receive this. They are now available for sales. So the system will show you total number of quantity available for sales and those not available for sales, those not packaged yet. Now, when the sales make their sales, they will also raise a ticket or a receipt or a docket or a voucher depending on how your business is set up, factory is set up, 
and they now post the sales to the system. They can also post the auction sales, where they are missing or damaged items, they can also post that. And when goods are sent to other branches, they can also post that. So I'll just jump into Excel and I'll show you step by step on how this works. So the first thing I'll show you is how to log in. We have come to the end of this section. Thank you for staying with us. See you in the next video continuation of this video tutorial on our bakery template. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you will get notified when we release subsequent videos. Cheers.